So I had a nice conversation with someone today and we were talking about um, the, their dog being interested in food or not. So unless your dog has a specific medical reason that makes it difficult for them to digest or consume food, um, all dogs are interested in, in food. So there's always the one person when I say all dogs are interested in food that will turn around and say, but my dog is, is genetically or um, there's something going on with the dog that, that we have to you know hand feed the dog and a whole bunch of other things. So those are not the dogs that we're talking about. We're talking about dogs who are within that normal bell curve, not the outliers that have got some extremely rare condition. And the reason I have to say that is because somebody will come on and say, but my dog's got this rare condition and then isn't interested in food. Okay, so cleared that. So I had, when I was speaking to the person, um, we were talking, the person said the dog is, has no drive for food. Okay, and that always uh, gives me a, a little, um, just a, a little alarm to, to pause and examine that further. So if you've been following me for a while, uh, you might know my thoughts on drive, okay? And I put them in uh, uh, in quotation marks. Um, I kind of reject this notion of drive as if it's something that's inside the dog. Um, the dog may be genetically predisposed to do certain behaviours, but the environment is what brings out the ability or the willingness to do those behaviours, okay? So when people talk about yeah, prey drive, um, then if the dog is sleeping, okay, does the dog have prey drive, okay? And people turn around and say, well, no, because the dog's sleeping. And my point is exactly, okay? So I tend to think in terms of motivation, and motivation uh, is influenced by both the internal environment of the dog, so what's going on physiologically and chemically within a dog, um, hunger levels, sleep levels, okay, Tran neurotransmitters and so on, and what is going on outside in the world, okay? So, a few things here. Internal environment and external environment. And our internal environment is influenced by our external environment, okay? So the person has said that their dog is not interested in taking food outside, okay? So they ha they're having difficulty training their dog outside, um, using a lot of the techniques that I show, okay? And I asked them, does your dog take food inside? Okay, so will your dog take a treat from your hand? Will they do training for, you know, tricks and, you know, teach your dog to lie down and to sit down um, inside using food? And they said yes. And that's very often the case. Now, all dogs are motivated by food anyway, because if they weren't motivated by food, they wouldn't be alive. And again, excluding those dogs that we have to specially feed. All right. So even dogs that are not interested and taking food, we can increase that interest by changing the way that we feed them. An example of that is when people will say, my dog doesn't take food at all, doesn't take treats at all, but they'll eat their dinner. Okay, so what I would say then is, have your dinner, okay, the dog's dinner in the bowl, offer your dog a couple of treats. If your dog takes them or not, put the food bowl down to them, okay? And then you do that again for a week or two weeks or a month. And I can almost but guarantee that your dog will start taking those treats before you put the food bowl down to them, okay? Because it just becomes part of the eating routine. Then we make it three treats, then we make it four treats, and then we go two treats and leave it a few minutes or a minute or so, even 30 seconds before you put the food bowl down, then a minute before you put the food bowl down, two minutes, four minutes, five minutes, okay? So this is how you start changing your dog's interest in food is by changing how we are presenting the food. So I've said this before many times. When I got Logan all those years ago, it was three months before he took food outside and I offered them food every day. Every day I offered them food, okay? And uh, eventually he took the food after three months. I was overjoyed, okay? Now there's still some, cir still some circumstances where he will not take food outside. And that gives me information about how he's feeling, okay? I worked with a dog uh, last year, a big friendly Labrador that was overjoyed to see other dogs and was showing lunging and barking behaviours and the family that had him thought it was aggression, but it was actually frustration, okay? So in order to curb that, um, I said to him, I'm going to have to change some of his relationship with being able to take food outside. And he said he doesn't take food outside. And I said, cool, let's try 
So we tried the focus game and we tried in the first 20 or 30 minutes, we probably tried the focus game about 10 or 12 times. Okay. If you don't know what the focus game is, put a uh, comment in the a comment and I'll send you the link for it. Okay. So, um, and on the 10th time, the dog started take it, taking the food and they were astounded. Okay. They were like, he doesn't take food outside. And I said, but we, we changed how we presented the food to the dog. Okay. And we did different things. So we didn't just keep doing the same thing and seeing if he wanted a treat. We did a whole bunch of different things with this dog and eventually started taking food. When he started taking food, he started to relax. When he started to relax, he started to think. And when he started to think, he started making better decisions around other dogs. And because he was more relaxed, we were then able to use food more readily as a reinforcer for his behavior. Quids in, brilliant, okay? So my suggestion would be if your dog isn't taking food outside, start where your dog is taking food outside and build that as a practice. It might just be giving the dog a treat, hand treat, hand feeding. You know, you've got 10 treats in this hand and we give the dog one treat at a time, okay, for 10 treats. And then we do that twice or three times a day, okay? And then what you might do is you might, um, a few minutes before you go for your walk, you do it again, okay? What might then happen is you start picking up your dog's harness uh, and lead and you ask the dog if they want food and they won't take food because they're now excited or anxious about getting outside again just information for us so we then put the harness in the lead on the dog or we pick the harness and the lead up and we practice with the food and we're just saying to the dog this is still what we do here and you try that for a week two weeks or a month your dog will start taking food almost guarantee that that's what will happen okay now when you're doing that move towards the front door and stand at the front door present the food and what happens with regular practice of this the dog starts to recognize oh this is a food moment here got it and they start to recognize that pattern from us and take the food then we start opening the door opening the door more taking a step out and you just make it these little uh, incremental steps forward okay so lots of stuff there now. The reason why people don't do this is because that's laborious, okay? It takes time and effort and energy from us. And that's why people don't do it, okay? And it's easier for the human just to yank and crank on the lead, okay? To try and get some sort of result. But that doesn't change positively how the dog is feeling about the environment. It's not making them less anxious or nervous or excited about the environment. All we're teaching the dog there is that we start acting like a weirdo, okay? So some thoughts there on how to change your dog's food motivation, okay? Um, how to build it. It can be done. It can be done fairly easily with the right practice. Generally doesn't take two weeks, okay, or a month. It generally doesn't take that. It just takes consistent practice of us doing the right things and practicing when the dog is capable of taking the food. Okay, so that's done in the calm moments. Okay, hopefully this has been helpful for you. If it has, let me know um, some co in the uh, comments below and I'll catch you next time.